movie. Uh, Ethan. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Co-Tangents. Ethan is doing vocal exercises to prepare for the show. Uh, Ethan, Ethan, we're, uh, we're recording. Even, even more uh, impressive than I'm sure this sounds, he's doing all this while handstanding. He's, he's actually got a, a human sacrifice ready, so I don't know what that's for. <clears throat> hey guys, you ready to record Cotangents? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. but let's do this. Hey, right. hey, welcome to Cotangents, the show where we talk about things that are only tangentially relevant together. I'm your tallest tangent, Kellen. I'm your apparently timid tangent, Justin. And I'm your totally ready for everything now that I've done my voice lessons. Voice exercises. Voice you want to give, some, give us some voice lessons? I don't I know how to give use you guys my some voice. voice lessons. As you can tell, I am very ready with my voice because I did some voice exercises. Would you like to join me in some? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I, actually, I actually already know how to use my voice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm using it right now, in fact. I, Zany. You, you're yeah. right. I, I, I don't know what else I could teach you. I mean, I, I appreciate the, uh, the offer. But, but can I, you use your nose to talk? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, he's right. I you heard what he said, Ethan. We're in the middle of recording a show, but uh, since I only use telepathy to speak, I would love some voice lessons later. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, cool. But we had a topic, and we have a radio show that we should probably record. Yeah, have we started recording yet? Yes. Yeah. Oh shoot! Well, in that case, guys, I love stories. Don't you guys love a good old story? Yeah, I like stories where someone was really stupid. I do too. In a big way. And you know, when do stories happen, but always in the past? Have you ever yeah. heard a story about something happening in the future? Uh, Star Wars. <laughs> no, Wait, no, no, that was Star that Wars was a, was a long, long time ago. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you Deus Ex. Okay. Deus yeah. Ex. Okay. All right. All right. Um, but some of but, the best stories of people being stupid are in the past. They are. Yeah, Deus Ex isn't really a story about somebody being stupid. So all good I mean, stories about people. Depending on how you play. I mean. Ooh, it could be pretty stupid. But, <laughs> hey, and if you want to send in your stories for us to read, we have an email for that. But since no one's emailed us yet at uh, anyway. cotangentsr at gmail.com. And so I didn't get an email from Mr. Tico Brahe, but he still was able to Wait. inform me of an amazing story through the internet. So do you guys know who Tico Brahe is? Uh, I can't say I do, but I, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. All right, so Tico Brahe is a famous astronomer. He, uh, he figured out some of the best, ma- he had some of the best mathematics of his time. Actually, he didn't have... The Kepler had some of the best mathematics who he hired, but he had some of the most precise. He was like, that star is going to go right there. That star is going to go right there. And he was always right. And it was amazing. Um, but do you know how he died? No, Ethan, please tell me. It is pretty great. This man was a very, very rich man. He was a... Uh, he was, he was royalty. I don't know if he was a king or a queen. No, I mean a king or a <laughs> wait, he, wait. Was, he was a king. I think, I think I know how this guy died. He, uh, he, he was tracking the stars, right? And he accidentally lost track of one. And the next day, boom, it just crashed into his house. <laughs> you gotta that's, keep, that's what happened. You got to keep your eyes on the stars. You got to yeah. keep your eyes on the All stars. All those stars he was tracking, he was so right all the time. And then Bang. just one. Well, that- I- ironic. He could save <laughs> others from death, but not himself. <laughs> <laughs> We still think he may have been suicidal, considering he knew it was going to land there. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's a hotly contested topic of whether he actually knew or did not know. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think is the craziest way to die? Because I bet this guy topped it. Uh, getting hit by a falling star. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. <laughs> That'd be pretty that crazy. was pretty crazy. This yeah. guy topped it. it. This guy okay. topped it. Oh, oh. <laughs> he died... By holding in his pee for way too long. What? Yes. You can look it up right now. He died from (laughs) a non-traumatic rupture of the bladder. He was at a 
part. I think it was like a party that was going on for a very long time, and he, <laughs> uh, he actually held it in for so long that now looking, a lot of autopsies looking back at him you were able to tell that he had a ruptured bladder for holding in his pee for too long. What? Mm-hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Dude. Uh, in October 1601, causing his bladder to rupture, uh, he was at a royal banquet. That's what it was. Uh, so he was, he was like, oh, I can't excuse myself. I guess I just... I, he didn't want to be rude and excuse himself to go to the bathroom. And so he just... Died. You heard it here first. Manners kill. <laughs> this is why you go to the bathroom, kids. Or else you'll die. And be famous. <laughs> and you don't want that. You want to live and be famous. Maybe. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I'd, I'd like that trend to start. <laughs> I New mean, internet challenge. How long can you hold oh your pee? God. <laughs> most, Stop eating Tide Pods. Most internet trends are suicidal. Days. Most internet trends are suicidal. Also, this man's nose was made out of brass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? Or is that? Yeah, he had a prosthetic nose. Yeah. Oh, nice. He, he, everyone, he was like, he always was like, oh, I have a silver nose, and every and after he died, they found out it was brass, and he's like, oh. You nice. know what's even better than a silver nose, though? What's better than a silver? A nose? real nose <laughs> <laughs> that can actually smell and stuff. <laughs> And is not made of metal. You should, uh, go, you should go back in time and tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't do that. You should just get a real nose. Yeah. Well, Justin, would you like to go take us back in time and tell us? Uh, I story? will take you back in time. I don't know if this goes back further in time, but I can't actually. see It actually it. does. It, go, it does. It goes okay, back way I can't further. see the screen from here. It goes back way further. But this is the War of the Bucket. The War of the Bucket. Or or. As it's most more commonly known, the War of the Oaken Bucket. Okay. The abbreviated title. Title. And so, what was this? Was this just a battle over a bucket? Actually, yes. <laughs> so. Wait. wait. Okay. I, I still don't understand. Okay, I'm. Uh, read read this. The War of the Bucket part. was fought in 1325 between ri- rival city states of. Uh, Bologna? I don't know if you pronounce it Bologna. Uh, and Medina. It took place in the region of... Bologna? <laughs> Wait. I don't... That's not Bologna, dude. Bologna? It, it is Bologna. It is spelled like Bologna. Yeah. So this is already... These these countries are already on... Wow. Th- or cities are already on thin ice for being insane. <laughs> or thin meat, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> It took between it took place in the region of Emilia Romagna, Romagna in northern Italy. It was provoked when Modenese soldiers stole the bucket from a city well, but was really an episode in the over three hundred year long struggle between Gulfs and Ghibellines. Medina won the battle of Zappolino, the only battle of the war, and the bucket remains in Medina to this day. <laughs> and there were two thousand casualties. 2,000 casualties? There was 2,000 casualties. There Maybe is... we should go and take the bucket. <laughs> wait, so, wait, wait. <laughs> Do like a Mission Impossible thing and then take their bucket. Yeah, is this, is this like, is this like, it still remains to this day. So it must be like on a pedestal, like. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be a museum by or something there. Yeah. Yeah, guarded by centurions because it's in Italy. <laughs> That's the only soldiers they have there. <laughs> That's the only soldiers that exist. Roman in- legionaries are <laughs> guarding this bucket twenty four seven. But like, but like, you know how in uh, Indiana Jones he like swaps out the the idol for like oh. a you know a, a bag of sand. Right. If Dude. you swap out the bucket, you could just replace it with another bucket because it's just a bucket. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so the baloney bucket is now <laughs> is now in. We replace it with a bucket made of baloney. <laughs> Just is just to say, you know what? I don't care. Here's a baloney bucket. <laughs> wow. Just oh my so gosh. you know. This is amazing. Okay, yep. okay. So, do you have any very stupid stories from the past? Oh, wait, 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 okay. I feel like we could milk this a little bit more. This baloney well, bucket. Actually, actually, it says here on the Wikipedia article for the War of the, the Bucket, um, 
it was really an episode in the over 300 year yeah. long war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, war? Yeah. We, we, struggle. Year long struggle. Struggle. It wasn't yeah. okay. So it must have been just like it's not. Between it's not just like okay. things like that don't start just because of a bucket. But it's. I it, mean, I it, I can dream. It. The, the Wikipedia says this was an episode, so maybe the bucket started the three hundred year long war. Maybe. Oh. Oh man. No. Ooh. I don't think that's what happened. I, I. I mean, I'd be pretty upset if someone took my bucket. <laughs> That's Harry, that was my the, bucket. I you know, worked this, hard to pay for that. This happened in the 1300s, so it'd be like, hey, that's the bucket I pee in! <laughs> Gosh! Or, oh, that's how he died. That's how Tico Brahe died. They took his Somebody bucket. took his bucket! <laughs> <laughs> and then Bologna was like, you just killed our greatest astronomer because you took his pee bucket, and now we're going to have our revenge. No, that's no, what really happened. They, what wow. happened is they used the bologna for the feast, and they were like... <laughs> And they were like, oh, well, our baloney bucket is empty now. Let's let Tico Brahe pee in it until, oops, Medina comes and steals it to sabotage our uh, the greatest program. astronomer's pee schedule and kill him. Gosh dang it. My best, my, my favorite method of assassination is stealing their pee bucket. Because you don't pee in another man's bucket. That's just no, terrible. That's, that's how you that's start gay. wars. <laughs> that's how you start wars. <laughs> You pee in another man's bucket. Uh. That's probably what happened, actually. You know. Yeah, they took his bucket and they were like, "Okay, okay, we can live with that." And then they peed in it and they were like, "Oh man, that's it." No, no more. <laughs> no more. Well, it was like a bucket for a well, so maybe they just peed in the well too. They're like, "Hey, oh man, hey, guess what?" Uh. <laughs> it was already a well for pee, but now it's just their pees in yeah. it too. Quality conversation here on. Co-tangents, stick around to hear us talk <laughs> about me and Please don't come back. Time.